Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nobody wants to go to an ice cream store called Just Vanilla. You have just one flavor. There are a lot of different ways to get it done. And we're going to be watching a couple of ways to get it done on the football field today. And as a fan of the game, it's going to be a great treat just to watch these two squads, one of whom wants to pitch it all over the yard and go fast, the other one who wants to control the tempo with a physical attack. Seeing these two teams go head-to-head -head is going to be a great treat. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium, and now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ewing is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. Schmidt from the three. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 21. Hand off inside. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 33. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. They'll bring him down at the 41. Seven yard line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Parker takes it to 28. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. The Broncos offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have these tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Hey, 
Reeves on play action. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big-time advantage over any defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Zips it to the back. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Third down, two to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds at the 22. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. throws this one away. Boise State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie, and you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. This is the eighth play of this drive. Out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Number 34, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring and so it's another third down upcoming here. Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 11 yard line. Back brings him down at the 11 yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From the 11-yard line, second down. Tackle made at about the three-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and one. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's check in on some Big 12 action. And for Baylor, a tremendous amount of pressure mounts. A loss today, and they're out of the bowl picture. The Miners are on top, 13-6. All right, Reese, back to our game. Boise State is ready to kick it away. Schmitz at the return. Schmidt has it at the five, at the 30. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. The Broncos are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's hit immediately. That 
that's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 7-0, Bronco. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Five wide. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. two-yard line second down they'll line up with five wide receivers throws complete he's got room to work he's knocked out of bounds around the 37 yard line good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play fires quick he catches another and he's tackled around the 29-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Oh, it almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 19. Up the middle for a nice game. run up the gut. That makes it second and six. Toss left and he'll lose yards. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Looks to the end zone. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. We've been watching this thing all day long. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Bears lead 16-13. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Washington lines up for the kickoff. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Sanders on the handoff. He makes it to the 32-yard line. From their own 32 yard line. It's second down. Got it to his man on the screen. And they make the stop at the 40.
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Flynn with the tackle at the 48-yard line. That brings up second and one. Fights forward to about the 46. First down. From the 46 yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at about the 41. That'll be a gain of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires it out. Brought down around the 35-yard line. First down. From the 35 yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game second on play. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Boise State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. 13th play of the drive coming up. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Boise State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Ewing is lined up to kick this one off. Schmidt fields it at the one. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 38. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He 
He's going right. Incomplete. Almost picked off. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He wants it all going long. And he hits him hard at the 20. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-7, Bronco. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 34-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Boise State holds a field goal lead. goes at about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Livingston is the deep man, awaiting the return. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle around the 25-yard line. sink right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Go! 
Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 47. Number 98 makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Mike 13, Mike 13. He did not get to the first down marker. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. Parker is back awaiting the punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Boise State is up a field goal. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at the 35. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 43 yard line. It's first down. He steps out at the 39. going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. Hayes comes away with five yards on the scramble there. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they make the stop at the 31. First down. Boise State has a three-point lead. Let's go. Setting up the play action. Let's it fly. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at about the 21. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. run there this kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche that's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down this defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence and somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down It's second and 11. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. 
Here's the 11th play of the drive. Boise State is up by three. Green to the back, and he can't hold it. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. And for Baylor, they've now won three in a row. And for Howell, off the charts with four touchdown runs. Best way to describe this kid, straight warrior. In other games, the Badgers arrive at today's game ranked 20th. And for Wisconsin, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. Wisconsin with the lead, 28-21. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. The Broncos in front by six. Boise Everyone's Boise all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Livingston deep to return. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Play fake. Throws a bullet. Got a man. Watch out here. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. And we've got a tie ball game. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short two-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From the five-yard line. And down he goes at the 32. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own 47-yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Gets out to around the 32. Game of 14 on the ball. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 32. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 17 yard line.
Now he tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. He takes off. Touchdown! And that's going to give him the lead. Defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. State to kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. They come out in a five-wide set. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Good tackle in space. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. a screen pass gets it to the back and they push him out at the 34. Six yard line. First down. Five wide. Caught and he's hit immediately. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws this one away. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at the 16. Scramble. 
They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Washington! The offense didn't get the playoff in time. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. We are all tied at 21. Washington lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. This is what it all comes down to, right? This is why we love this game. We have less than a minute to go. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. He's taken down at the nine-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. made around the eight yard line pick up of a yard for the tailback that's the senior safety that made that tackle great job of providing run support from the secondary just to get him to think a little more about it they're going to call a timeout folks we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime here we go the kick is away Gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Boise State, the kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. Broncos know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That brings this broadcast to a close.
For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.